Hey guys, this is Shane. Welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. Today, I'm going to talk about how you can repurpose an idea for repurposing uh, old paperback books, or at least part of them, into little pieces of artwork and things that you can enjoy. Uh, these are paperbacks that maybe you see that are just, they're ratted out, but they still have really cool covers. Here's an idea of something you've done, something I've done that I enjoyed, and um, you can use this for ideas and uh, just see what you think. So before I jump in, I want to say thank you. Thanks for the channel support, uh, the feedback, the views. The, the channel keeps growing a little, bit, little bit by little bit. So, hey, if you're watching, subscribe. You guys keep coming back. I'll keep doing this, and we'll see what happens. So, um, so if you're new to the channel, you know I deal in books. I, I collect. I resell on eBay and Amazon. And unfortunately, in some of that, what you find a lot of times is you get books, and then for some reason. They're just, you know, they're ratted out, like the cover will come off, or it's really cool art, but it's really worn. And what I mean by this specifically is like on paperback books. So we're going to just look at an example, uh, and then I'll show you what I've done to repurpose uh, some books like this. So here's a good example. This was a Dune uh, paperback early edition. Um, I think, I don't know if this was a Ace or it was early Ace edition, but you know, it is... When I, I bought this, I think I paid 50 cents for it. I was going to resell it, but it's in really poor condition. You can just tell, you know, it's just, it's in bad condition. And for that condition, what I can make from it's just not that worth my time. But I love the artwork, and I'm thinking, well, what could I do? What could I do with that? Here was another one. I had this um, Isaac Osmoff, uh, The Naked Sun cool artwork and I, I had gotten it in a bag of something and look the, it's just the cover the cover came completely off so this happens so but this artwork's so cool it got me thinking what can you do all right so here I'm gonna show you the examples then we'll talk about just kind of what I did so the what you can do is you can mount you can take these things and trim the covers and you can cut pieces of wood paint the wood, glue the cover to the front, and then coat it with like a polyurethane or I'll show you what I used, a, a boat marine spar varnish, okay? And then this can be used as a decoration. You can set it up on, you know, just show you. you can set it up on your shelf, you know? You can, or you could, I didn't do it on this one, you could drill a hole to just hang it on a nail or put a picture you know, one of the little nail in the little picture frame, picture frame holders, you know, so that you can mount it on the wall. But you know, this is just made out of a one by six piece of wood, spray painted, take the cover, and there you have it, okay? Now, you could dress it up. Here's one where I dressed it up, another little Western, where I ran, I did the piece of wood, and I ran it across my router and just made an edge on it. So you see, you kind of have this relief, okay? And again, this is, you can tell, this is just regular one by six. And so that, that router made kind of this nice little platform. Again, you could glue the paper back on. If it has rough edges, I don't care. And then I could varnish this whole thing. And again, it's a plaque. In this case, it's not going to stand as, as good as just the blocks. But this is a plaque that you could hang, hang on a wall. Uh, here's another one just from an old, uh, I like this one. I did the same thing, you know, routed it and it says, good luck, sucker. Here's the, you know, the old Richard, uh, Tel Telfair, you know, a lot of these, I think these were a gold medal that he wrote a bunch of this stuff. I think that's so cool, right? Again, it's kind of a wall plaque, a piece of art. Now you can hang it wherever. Now you can take this one step further and I'll show you a couple. This one, I love this one I did. Okay. This is a block. It's a wood block, but I put the cover on and then I, I varnished it and I just took some trim and cut pieces of trim to, so it makes a frame. And this is of an old uh, Ray Bradbury Fahrenheit 451. I would not have done this to this cover, but this book, it, it was completely ratted out, like falling apart. And so I saved the cover, right? And that's kind of cool just to be able to do that. Now I can hang this, I can set it up on my shelf, whatever, really cool. Here's another one I did with the same trim. And you can just get any kind of trim. It was some, another old Western one, Gun Law. And you can tell I did these, I found these, a few of these old Westerns and they were, 
again, they weren't worth resell and they were so ratted out, but I, I loved the, the artwork. Again, just doing simple wood block, putting it on there and putting a frame around it, okay? So let's let's just look real quickly the things I've put them on. Um, of one difference I'll say between these two plaques that I did. This was on out of wood. This was out of MDF. Okay, on the side, and I'll, I'll show you show you what I mean by that. So a regular, this is like a just a, a piece of one by six, just a regular one by six board. Um, and I'm going to show you a lot of times on these paperbacks. You know, I'll show you with this one. This is pretty, this is not too bad. You know, you can, you don't even have to do a lot of trimming. You can trim it down some more, or, you know, you can you can leave a little bit of border, especially if you're gonna put, you know, molding around it. And you, all you have to do is just really cut there, right? And that forms a nice accent piece around that. Um, <clears throat> MDF is this medium density fiberboard. You know, it's heavier, but this is like the, the one inch. You know, it's it's sometimes it's cheaper than the real wood, and it works really nice. Sands paints really nice, so you can use MDF too. Um, again, if I were if I were going to do that, I would I would have to cut this to size, right? This isn't this isn't cut to size. So what I do is I decide what I want. If I want to do it just as a straight block, um, like this one, straight block, or if I'm going to route it. Or if I'm going to put a frame around it, I decide which way I want to go. And then I decide how much border I want and I measure and cut my block to that. Then I paint the block. Okay. Once the, the block is painted the way I want it, then I glue the cover to the cut block and you can go ahead and sand it and whatever else you need. Then I used... All I covered it with was this, I got this all at Lowe's, right? This is just a, a spar varnish, just satin, so it'd be a little shiny. And you brush it on, let it dry, maybe an hour, brush it on again. You don't want to get too wet. Now, don't do this, if, if, you're, if you're psyched about this idea, don't do this on like, uh, you know, for me, it was this Ray Bradbury one, right? If this is like a special cover for you, don't do it your first one on this one because you might mess up. There's ways you can mess up. You could, uh, you know, not have your block uh, cut the size you want. And when you glue it, you decide, oh, the way I'm gonna do is trim, it's not the way I want. You can get it too wet with the spar varnish and you can actually bubble up the stuff. And other people may have better ideas on how to coat. That's just what I used and it worked out really good. But get a couple of, um, you know, other ratty ones that you don't care as much about and practice before you do it. But the idea of being able to enjoy, these things are just, are, are basically throwaways, you know, because they're falling apart for whatever reason. They're not, they're not worth the reseller. Literally, these were falling apart. Um, just like the covers I showed you with the Osmoff cover. But you can put these on blocks of wood. Now, you don't even have to go that far if you don't want to. I guess you could just buy a picture frame and put it under it. But I like instead of having the glass, I like this on the wood blocks so that I can either stand them or I can hang them. And then that varnish on it makes it the real shiny cover. You could also, before you do, before you mount them, mount, mount them, you could do a digital scan. So you've always got the image as well. And you could print that out and use it later for whatever you wanted to. But um, that's the idea. Use, find cover. If you see covers that you like, they're really cool old sci-fi or Westerns or whatever. Maybe it's just a book that has meaning for you. Uh, if it's a ready book, you can't sell it instead of throwing it away, take that cover, trim it, mount it, glue it, cut your blocks, decide if you're going to route, get your sizes worked out, and then do something like this. And, uh, you know, what they say, good luck, saga. You can uh, have fun with it, enjoy it, okay? So that's the idea, how to, how to repurpose, upcycle, um, make use of those old paperbacks that you know, you're just going to be throw away, but you can still enjoy them and make a little crafty project for yourself just to just have fun with. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Give you some ideas, things that you can do. And, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, I guess one of these days, if you know, maybe the channel gets like super, um, like big, I could do some of these and it'd be like, 
you know, you know, the uh, signed Curator of the Lost special uh, commemorative uh, cover box or something. So d just teasing there, just being silly. All right, you guys, see cool, bye cool, have fun. Talk to you soon. Bye.